how the status box capability work, and this relates on the app pages as well. If you are on a communication site or a team site and you create a new page, you actually can see this out of the box uh, experience where you can actually then start by default from three different page uh, templates. And these are not page layouts, which is a really important thing to realize. These are page templates, so there is a significant difference on that. And I'll explain that one in a, in a few minutes as well. Now, what's interesting here is also that there is the tab uh, uh, selection, that one over there. So if you have any custom SharePoint framework web parts, which you want to expose as a single app pages, you are able to do, those will be visible in here. So you're able to then create, for example, personal email web part as an example, this is just a uh, imaginary sample, uh, as an individual app page. So you don't have to, uh, which cannot be modified, there's no, no additional text and that. So you will have a full page app page available. Now, I'll come back on that one in a second. Let's create first one page, uh, uh, create a, a new page using this basic text. I'll show you how this works in practice. There's my basic page. Uh, it is a page template. Why? Not a page template uh, layout. Why? Because it's just the structure of the page. So you're able to basically then still modify the page. It's a starting point for you to take advantage uh, within your structure. Uh, so you, uh, anybody, end users can just modify this. They can do whatever uh, they want within the content. Uh, let's add here demo uh, column uh, number uh, three. And that's really cool. Uh, super, super cool page, uh, cool uh, page. I'm not gonna modify this too much. I'm gonna publish that one in my site. And then we can actually see this interesting new capability, which is save page as a template. So save as a page template means that I'm actually taking now this page, which I was one, which I just created, and saving this as a new template. So let's give it a name of uh, my awesome new uh, page template. And we can see here, uh, I can still modify this. Uh, let's actually modify that to be uh, column number three and uh, smaller, uh, smaller text. If I can write, I can't write smaller text. There we go. And let's save that as a page template. So it's pretty obvious what happened now uh, is that if I go back on the front page of the site, uh, so in uh, if I ah, where do I get, how do I get there? Come on, uh, do I need to click there. No, 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 no. Why 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 aren't the, those links? What happens? So okay, that's that's a different one. Interesting. Uh, let me get in here. There was a interesting hiccup, hiccup related on uh, the home link. Now, if I now create a new page, uh, it's pretty obvious that we will actually see my custom additional page available as well. I can select that one. It will render that one on the right side, and you are able to see that it's it's actually my custom uh, third page layout option uh, page in this case. And now. Related on this one, absolutely, uh, is then the, the single page app parts, or single page, uh, this uh, single part app pages. Uh, so these are basically um, um, app pages, which uh, web part which has been defined to be available as an app page. So I'm able to create a page based on a personal email uh, email uh, setting. I will create the page, and you're able to do this in the SharePoint framework starting from 1.8. Uh, well, actually. Yeah, 1.8 uh, for GA. I can say that I want to see three emails. Let's give it a name, uh, sample name, and let's save that. And voila, we have a full page uh, rendered uh, web part where you own the whole area on the page, except the header and uh, the top header over there. Uh, classic questions, what people are always asking when they see this is that, well, can I modify the header? Uh, can I get rid of the header? And you can actually modify the header based on the header settings, but you can't get rid of the header fully. So there is no supported uh, out of the box way of hiding uh, the SharePoint header in here. And that is by design, based on the design people in, in SharePoint. And there's no way obviously, of hiding the, the top level uh, either. Now, there might be that will introduce a way of uh, getting rid of the, the top level uh, section or the header section away. So please vote user voice and use the user voice for influencing on this decision. So, uh, but this is the current implementation. It is now getting rolled out. The, the, 
the page template selection is getting rolled out to the targeted release tenants pretty soon then worldwide and already right now when you're creating web parts you're able to actually take advantage of the single part that page uh, experience so that's pretty cool now um, all uh, there's questions related on uh, can you use the template in multiple sites and uh, it would be really cool to combine this with a, a organizational assets and I absolutely agree on those so first of all right now this is uh, so to say a, uh, how would I put it it's a minimal viable uh, uh, product version which means that it's relatively simple it's a starting point and it only works in a single one site at a time now technically what you can do is that you're able to use provisioning or something else to get these templates to all of the sites. So that is absolutely possible because what actually happens behind of the scenes uh, is that we dynamically create a pages uh, template library templates folder inside of the site pages library and there we actually have the actual base layout which is my which we created so it is actually a page but it has been marked to be a page template so you could actually replicate this to be available in multiple sites but they will be separate instances now sooner or later yes there will be a organi organizational wide page templates provided by Microsoft but I can't give you any timelines on that it is absolutely in the in the roadmap when the we get to that roadmap item, that's a separate discussion. Um, now, custom app part pages can be absolutely used tenant-wide, so you're able to, uh, that's a good uh, discussion on that one. So um, this one here, you can deploy a SPPKG file, activate that one in a tenant level, and then uh, that same web part will be available across all of the sites within your tenant. The same web part could be also exposed as a Teams tab and as a normal web part. So you can actually have multiple options available from a single uh, web part as well. Now, uh, on Chris Ken's question, uh, put page on the templates folder, uh, that's not enough. There is a, a attribute, uh, so there's a metadata uh, uh, linking on the property of the item, if I remember correctly. Uh, we will look on getting that one documented. So how, what are the things, how to get um, things uh, provisioned properly. <laughs>